Hello everybody, this is my first video and today we're gonna see together which settings I'm using and which one I'm recommending to you to play in the most competitive way in Valorant. Let's go! I'm gonna start with the general tab here. So first of all, you have some accessibility settings just uh, for the language, for the the color you wanna have on your enemies, um, the tactical callout. Here is the, the mouse setting, so basically it's just about the sensitivity. If you wanna do the invert mouse, don't do this, okay? Um, then we have, okay, more important things now. We have uh, things about the map, more especially about the radar. So as you can see, there is a rotate things. So like you can see, my radar on the top left of my screen is not moving at all. So you can basically move your radar with your POV, but I don't like it at all. I just keep it like this. Um, same thing about the, the player centered. Um, you, as you can see, I, I, I can't see the wall map. That's why I'm keeping it on off. So I can see what is happening on, on every area of the map. So I think it is a very important one. Um, then come the minimap size. So if you see on the top, now it's at the minimum. Okay, I don't like it because my eyes need to go to the super top left of my screen and I don't want it. I want it as big as I can. So like this, it's fine for me. Um, then the minimap zoom. So it's the same. I don't want to focus uh, too much to see what is happening. So I leave it uh, at the maximum. Um, then there is the minimap vision pawn. So basically this is just what you can see. So basically there is nothing on the radar now. Now you can see the, the range where I can see on the radar. Um, so I, I leave it on just uh, because it's uh, an habit. Um, then there is some privacy things. So if you're a streamer or if you don't just don't want to be recognized during your game, you should just uh, put it on on here and here. And auto reject friends request is not a problem. And after that, you just have uh, the things to to play on left-handed or right-handed. So I, I play on right. Um, and there is some other things uh, that I just do off, mostly uh, player loadouts always visible, uh, cycle to next breath, weapon wraps inventory. So yeah, I just keep it all, all enough because uh, I'm using uh, a button for each uh, weapon I use. So I'm not using the mouse wheel, so that's fine. Um, then there is show much content. so. Yeah, I don't know that much about this one because I just turn, turn off blood, so I, I don't know if what what does it stands for. Um, then there is the corpse. So if you don't put corpse, uh, there is um, something on the ground living with the the avatar of the player you killed. So uh, I prefer to have bodies. Um, then there is the blood uh, that I turn off. Um, then there is the explicit language filter that that turn it off um, and other things like uh, network buffering if you have a good internet for example you should put it on minimum all the time but if your internet is not that good maybe you should try to use moderate or maximum uh, show bullet tracer very important because uh, if enemies for example are playing with vandal or I mean anything except uh, Phantom or Ghost. I would I would say uh, you should put it on because uh, you can have good information with the bullet tracers. Uh, show spectator count is on on, and after it's just about the uh, hops uh, settings. So we're gonna pass on it. Uh, then you have um, many bind to to set up, but it's just up to you because I won't recommend any any good bind to be honest I think it's up to everybody um, 
So yeah, that's it about the, the control. Now the crosshair. Uh, the crosshair I use is a dot at the moment, but I'm changing it uh, many times. Um, so basically you have some inner line, outer line and the dot and the outline here. So you can do just crazy, crazy, crazy things with the with the crosshair on this game. It's just uh, how you wanna you wanna use it, but here is a, a garbage crosshair if you wanna do it. Um, so yeah, there is not that much things to do. There is some important things that is mo movement hero and firing hero. If you are a beginner on this game, maybe it should be useful to use it because you're gonna understand how the recall work and uh, when you are really accurate or not. But basically, I don't want to use it um, because yeah, I know I know how to use the weapons, so <clears throat> I want to my crosshair to stay high as it should be. The most important uh, tab is video. Uh, in video, you have three uh, other tabs: that is general, graphics quality, and stats. So we're gonna start with general. Um, on general, you have obviously uh, the display mode, uh, full screen, window, it's full screen and window, uh, which you should use all the way full screen, okay? Uh, because you can have a big input lag with the uh, other one, so, and it's not playable, I mean, it's horrible. Um, here, here is the, the resolution, so, the resolution is all about preference, but there is no point about using uh, uh, a lower resolution on this game compared to CS:GO because it won't change the form and the aspect of the, the of the models. So there is, yeah, there is no point of using it. That's why I'm playing on full HD. Uh, here is the the monitor you wanna play on. Um, after that, there is some, yeah some settings if you are playing on laptop so i'm not concerned about this but uh, basically um, you should limit your fps in the background because if you are on internet you don't want your pc to burn while we are bro browsing on internet and there is these things limit fps always that you should turn off because it increases input lag and if you wanna um, if you don't want to um, cap your FPS, you should probably do it in the NVIDIA um, uh, control panel. So that's why I turn it off. And very, very, very important one, the NVIDIA reflex low latency that you should probably use on on plus boost, except if you are playing on a laptop, maybe it should... Uh, yeah, it should uh, increase your, your temperature on your components, so just be careful with this one. But it gives you a way better latency, I mean, lower input lag and better performance on the game, so you should use it. Uh, then the most important tab, graphics quality. So basically, I'm not this kind of guy that wanna enjoy a, a super beautiful game, like if you do like this. Okay, my game is beautiful, but I don't want to play in this way. Okay, actually, the game is way different. It's insane. Um, so I put the material on low, the texture on low. So now you have some details that disappears. Uh, the detail quality now on off. It removes all the grays and things that are not useful. And I think this is very, very important one. You should really put this one on low. Um, UI quality, then this on off. So it, this is just, yeah, just to look your game better. But yeah, it's not super good to use it. And the only things that you should use, to be honest, in my opinion, should be this one, anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering. Uh, you should put it on none, or depends on your PC specs, but on none or MCAA uh, 2 or 4. Uh, for me, I use on 2, and I use the anisotropic filtering on 4, uh, because the game looks fine, because if I remove it, I've put it all on on, and 
this one at the minimum you can see some pixels on the on the edge of texture and i don't like it so i just put it like this um <clears throat> Improved clarity is important in my opinion because it, when you are super far away, uh, sometimes it can be, I don't know, maybe some fog or some some weird thing. So that's why I'll leave it on. on. Uh, the beta experimental sharpening uh, is uh, new things. Uh, I'm using it because I will show you on NVIDIA what you need to set up to, to experience it. But my game is looking way more sharp after, sharp after that. And that's actually a really good, uh, a really good option. Uh, then the bloom, the bloom is bad, the distortion is bad, and the cast shadow is bad as well. So now you're gonna have way better FPS. Uh, like you can see, I have now five, uh, almost 500 FPS. Uh, I mean, I'm alone on the server, so I have better FPS than I should have. But uh, when I all turn it on it was like 200 so it's really important to if you want to play competitive you should not use uh, high quality settings uh, and then there is some stats so it's basically the net graph of csgo um, here you have the client fps that i just put text only uh, the server tick rate the game latency i mean it's just up to you but you could you could uh, put it on either everywhere it's just up to you and <clears throat> and now about the audio audio there is just the volume that you can trick with and there is just this that i disable because i don't want to have the, the the music on the lobby and basically that's everything just be sure that speaker conf configuration is on stereo and after that, there is voice chat, you use your headset, and yeah, that's it. That's all you need to, to put on uh, Valorant. So as you can see, it's quite simple to, to configure your, your game. Uh, you just need to find your preference, okay? So now I will just back on the windows and just to talk about the, the sharpening experimental, uh, the beta things, the new things on the, on the Valorant. Uh, so there is uh, some things, uh, so sorry, but my NVIDIA control panel is in French, but uh, at the top of the, um, of the NVIDIA control panel, there is these things uh, that is uh, disabled uh, um, by default, but uh, you can turn it on and you can put this value, okay, and just press OK, okay, after that you're probably going to need to restart your game, but the, the thing is that you, you're gonna see, in my opinion, I, I, I see the enemies better like this. And I tried it and I really like it. So maybe you should try it, to be honest. It's it's quite good. It's really quite good. Here. So what you need just to remember is um, after you configure your video things and audio things and your mind, of course, you should just use what you really want to use because there is no perfect settings, right? Um, you you will never probably find the best uh, the best sensitivity in the world because it doesn't exist. There is guys that can play with super high sensitivity and also guys playing with super low sensitivity. Sensitivity. So um, yeah, just find yours and just try many and stick to one it's the best advice i could uh, give you and yeah that's it thank you for watching this video if you like it don't forget to leave a thumb up under this video if you have any question you can ask it in the comments below i will try to answer to everybody and please don't forget to follow entropic on facebook instagram and twitter see you guys and have fun on the games <laughs>